WDTV. Coming up tonight, fans in Morgantown are ready for the first Big East Conference home game of the year. The opponent, the Golden Eagles of Marquette. Off to a 9-3 and three start for second-year coach Buzz Williams. Bob Huggins' Mountaineers are unbeaten in 10 games and now ranked number 6 in the nation. That long and lean team will put its unbeaten mark on the line in Morgantown next. Big East Network basketball from Morgantown, West Virginia. The students are on break, but a lot of them are here anyway to watch Marquette and West Virginia. Game one in the conference for Marquette, number two for West Virginia, and the Mountaineers in an elite group. There are six teams in this country who are undefeated so far this year, and West Virginia is one of them, and all of those teams are in the top six in the current rankings. Welcome to the Coliseum, along with former coach and veteran analyst Bob Wenzel. I'm John Sanders. Marquette in its fifth season in the Big East, and they've had great success. However, much of that great success is gone. Yeah, the triumvirate of Jarrell McNeil, Dominique James, and Wesley Matthews gone, and with them, a lot of wins in NCAA tournaments. In their place, however, the holdover is Lazar Hayward. 6'6", 225. He's got the mid-range game down pat. Nice pull-up jumper here against Wisconsin. He does shoot threes, but that's not his game. He can take the ball to the basket with authority. He's the leading scorer on this team, the real leader. Big game against Presbyterian in his last outing. You know, Buzz Williams told me, he said, West Virginia's got 10 guys who are 6 feet 8 inches tall. That's an exaggeration, of course, but one of those that can play all over the court and had a great game on Saturday against Seton Hall because he played 45 minutes. Yeah. Devin Ebanks has an unbelievable skill set for a 6'9 player. He's got the mid-range game down pat. He handles the ball. He passes. He's a great rebounder, and the guy has unbelievable feel when it comes to playing the game of basketball. Big, big game. 22 points, 17 rebounds, 7 assists, and oh yes, he did not turn the ball over in the entire 45 minutes. That is impressive basketball. We've got the starters on the opening tip coming up from the Coliseum in Morgantown on our Big East Network game tonight. Right education can mean freedom. Freedom to do what you want, where you want. An affiliate of La Cordon Blue Schools, North America. You can learn the skills and techniques that can give you the freedom to explore the world of the culinary industry. Freedom to start establishing your name in the restaurant business. There's so We just recently received a hot cold truck. It's funded by the West Virginia Lottery. It's one of several that have been uh, delivered to senior centers throughout the state that give us an opportunity to better serve our senior citizens with our home delivery meal program. The truck will allow us to serve food at correct temperatures and to reach our vulnerable seniors in more rural areas of West Virginia. Because of the West Virginia Lottery, our seniors win. Today's game is presented by United Bank, West Virginia's bank. We're united with the Mountaineers by the West Virginia Lottery. When you play, West Virginia wins by U.S. Cellular, who gives you free incoming calls, texts, and picks. U.S. Cellular, believe in something better by Budweiser. With full flavor and a crisp, clean finish, it's what we do by Wa Tonight's Big East Network game is brought to you by PNC, leading the way. And by Interstate Batteries, outrageously dependable. Marquette in West Virginia from Morgantown. We're in the Coliseum. And there's Buzz Williams in his second year. He was an assistant to Tom Green and then took over. And Bob Huggins, of course, was actually born in Morgantown, West Virginia. I'll tell you, he is a mountaineer through and through. Graduated magna cum laude from this higher institution and was a great player here and is obviously a wonderful, wonderful coach. Let's take a look at our starting lineups tonight, brought to you by Interstate Batteries, Kubion, Bikes, Fulls, Hayward, and Butler. Those are the starters. We'll set the West Virginia starters when we get a chance. They're all about the same size, 6'7", six, 6'8". Six, <laughs> Extremely unusual lineup. They go inside right away to take advantage of their size, and Jones comes up big. 
He has been playing very strong all year long, averaging almost 16 points a game. This is Kubian. We'll hand it off. Watch nope. the switching defenses here, John. Anytime there's a screen, they switch. The reason is everybody's the same size. Blocked. And it was Smith who blocked it inside. And this is Butler working out in front. This is the most unusual lineup in college basketball this year. Five guys, 6'8", starting at the same time. They all play all over the floor, and they are tough on the boards. Jones doesn't get the roll. We're still they battle inside, and a foul call. Five guys to the offensive glass. This is why they're number six in the nation, my friend. This is the interstate battery starting five. Butler, Ebanks, Flowers, Jones, Smith, they play all over the place. You know, interesting contrast between these two teams, both in size, of course, the starting lineup, nobody's taller than 6'7 on one side, and everybody's over 6'7 on the other side. But they didn't lose anything except Alex Ruoff, who was an outstanding player. And of course, Marquette lost almost their entire team. Lazar Hayward and Acker, the only two guys who played big minutes last year. Butler also number 33, pretty solid. Next to Hayward, he's their second best player. Well, they lost about 50 points a game in offense, and Marquette's going to turn it over. Take a look at our star watch for tonight. And well, Butler will do it for one of these teams. <laughs> Jimmy Butler and Deshaun Butler. Jimmy's the second leading scorer. He's got three double doubles and, of course, a great career for Deshaun Butler. 1,600 points on his career, a senior this year. This is Jones outside. Mountaineers have jumped off to a 5 0 start. It's the finish that's been a problem for West Virginia of late. And again, Underneath to Jones, his Assist second basket. Assist, John Flowers. Offensive efficiency. And a 7 0 start for the unbeaten Mountaineers. This is where the length comes in at the defensive end. Seems like they've got seven guys out there. They cover so much territory with their length. And of course, that's a hugging specialty. He loves to play defense. Best way to get on the bench is to not play defense in this game. Turnaround is going to come up well short. Back from the Mountaineers. This is Deshaun Butler. Wellington Smith looks inside. Instead, they work the perimeter. Butler pulls up for three. That's too strong. The rebound tracked down by Butler. Butler shot it. The other Butler rebounded it. There's a good move inside and a nice finish that time by Hayward. He's a very good player. He reminds me a lot of Deshaun Butler. Both are seniors, both leading scorers on their team. Both have been around for a long time. Look at his handle by a 6'9 player. Smith on a drive, turns it over. As he travels, got close to the basket, lost his footing. And our first sub will be Johnson Odom. Darius Johnson Odom, who just happens to be the best three-point shooter percentage-wise in the conference. 58% from downtown. He's a junior college player, first year here at Marquette. Went to Hutchinson Junior College. And Odom has made 13 of his last 18 three-pointers. Yeah, so he'll be guarded tightly. He's on a drive this time. This is something they like to do. Gets inside, can't finish. Goes back to the left hand and misses that one as well. This is a tough run for Marquette right now as they play West Virginia. And they've got some other tough teams coming up. They got Villanova, Georgetown, and Villanova in their next three. Butler on the drive. That time he does finish. His first basket. For Marquette, rush the ball down the floor quickly before the defense can set up. That's your best opportunity. Once the defense is set, it's going to be a real struggle for them. Five on five between the three-point line and the basket. Well, right now, the Golden Eagles playing a man-to-man -man defense and working hard inside, finishing his sniff. That won't go. As, uh, Jones had the easy shot, couldn't make it. Smith made a mistake there. Had a two-point shot, took it, made it a longer shot than it could have been. 
Uh, we talked about the schedule. Villanova on January 2nd, and a week later, they play the same team. I mean, that's amazing. <laughs> you know, the reason for that is that there are so many public arenas in the Big East Conference. Scheduling games is, is a real task. And, of course, because there's 16 teams, you know, it makes it even more difficult. But everybody's going to go through a gauntlet like that during the course of the season, no question about it. And there's five teams ranked in the top 13. You're going to play them all. Well, it's not going to be easy for the Mountaineers either. They've got number four Purdue coming up on New Year's Day. Block and a foul call. Going to go on Ebanks. He'll pick up his first. You know, Marquette this year uses the dribble because they had a size differential in every team they play. This is Sydney, semi-pro football player by day, chef by night. I start with a six ounce piece of salmon, saute that up, and then I'll make my, my lemon butter sauce with uh, cream, lemon zest, salt and pepper, a uh, little fresh lemon, you squeeze that in there, reduce it, drizzle it over the fish, voila. Wanna swap recipes? Give Sydney a call. With US Cellular, every call he gets is free. Anytime from anyone. US Cellular, believe in something better. Collins Drilling is one of the fastest growing drilling contractors in the United States. Rick Street understands our business and has given us excellent support. Businesses are at home with Brick Street for workers' compensation insurance. Our signature 360 team service is your local single point of contact for everything you need. We can receive support from doctors, nurses, safety professionals, all with one contact. We have grown with Brick Street and we will stay with Brick Street. Almost there. Just five more minutes. Almost home. Statistics show that over 70% of auto fatalities occur close to home on rural roads. Cops. That's why law enforcement is stepping up rural patrols and cracking down on impaired driving. If you are over the limit, you are under arrest because drinking and driving don't mix. Remember, over the limit, under arrest. This message brought to you by the Governor's Highway Safety Program. Mountaineers scored the first seven. Marquette has put in the last four points in our Big East Network game from Morgantown. Great atmosphere. Looks like there's about 14,000 here, huh, John? Yeah, there's a big crowd. Here you see Devin Ebanks, deservedly so, the player of the week. Uh, Hazel lighting up the Mountaineers for 41. Huh? <laughs> I told Bob Huggins that uh, he needs 4% of Hazel's pro contract when he goes. Brandon Trish, the rookie of the week from Syracuse, and four teams ranked in the top 10. And, of course, Georgetown is number 13. Big stuff going on in the Big East. Last year, probably the best conference in the history of college basketball. Four teams with 31 wins. Three number one seeds in the NCAA tournament in Connecticut, Louisville, and Pittsburgh. It was quite a year. It was, and it may not be the same this year because players tend to move on. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, uh, you know, with Syracuse jumping up to number five in the nation right away, things are looking pretty darn strong in the Big East already. And here comes the pressure, the press. We expected it because the Mountaineers have had a problem with that. Thurman is checked into the lineup. Where's number two? Neither of the point guards in the game so far, Joe Missoula or Truck Bryant. Are you kidding me? What body balance. The back door play. Beautiful. Thurman gets in and makes a great pass right away. They were supposed to switch that. They didn't. What hang time he had on that play as well. Wow. Look at Ebanks. 6-9 on Aker, who's 5-8. Baker trying to put a move on him, gets to the foul line and then bounces it down low. Thurman was there defensively, and this ball goes out of bounds and it belongs to West Virginia. 
Well, Deshaun Buckler goes back door. Watch the body right here. Keeps the ball on his outside, takes the hit from Lazar Hayward, and uses the backboard to soften the shot. That is an educated player. I was impressed at the other end, too, with uh, Ebank starting Aker and staying in front of him, huh? Exactly. He wouldn't let him penetrate. Flowers dumps it down inside. Ebank tries to bank from home, can't do it. Back comes Marquette. Johnson Odom will shoot his first three of the night and bury it. Boy, he can shoot, huh? He really knocks him in. And he has no conscience, do they want him to jack from deep? The more threes he takes, the better rhythm he gets into. Now, Aker is the shortest player in the conference. And on the bench, they have the tallest player in the conference. It's 7 2. Back door again. A thing of beauty. How do you combat pressure defense? Back door. All five guys can pass. All five move well without the ball. One-on-one -on -one off the dribble. Spread the floor. This is a three from the corner, and it's good by Hayward. Three-point basket. That possession is instructive, John. That's the way they have to play if they're going to be competitive in the Big East. Flowers looks to Thurman. Short jumper. A little too strong. And rebound ripped out of there that time by Johnson Oda. This is Aker with it. Marquette looking to lead for the first time tonight. They tied it at 11. And a push. The second backdoor of the game. This time, the guy who was the recipient becomes the guy delivering. Flowers an easy dunk on the great pass by Deshaun Butler. Nice teamwork there. And Joe Missoula has checked into the lineup. Missoula, where's number 21? Bothered by that shoulder injury, aggravated in the game at Cleveland State. So they wanted to buzzer basically on the Deshaun Butler layup. This guy, the little guy, Acker, played a lot last year. When Dominique James got hurt. He was the starting point guard. This guy loves to bounce, huh? Yes, he does. This is Hayward, picked up by Thurman. Works the baseline, puts up a short one, no good, and the rebound oh, of Butler. Oh, oh, oh. Big time rebound. Whoop, bad pass. At Ebanks turning the wrong way. Third turnover for West Virginia. And right now, it's an 11 11 ball game. Thurman goes back to the bench as Wellington Smith is on the court. You got Maurice Acker in the game at 5'8, and also David Kubion at maybe six foot in the game right now. He's being guarded by 6'9 Devin Ebanks. Nice dude. A trap near midcourt. Held ball, but it's going to stay at this end. Great trap situation between Missoula and Butler. That was not calculated. That was just guys doing what they think is the right. You and I talked this afternoon, and we talked about does West Virginia trap on the sideline still? And there it is. Yep. On the way in, the foul is called. No, it's the other way. He, he palmed it, turned it over. You don't see that call very often, do you? <laughs> Not a lot, but the little guy needs something to get an advantage. Only 5'8". He started at Ball State and then transferred to Marquette right here. Oh, baby, that is definitely carrying the basketball. I could get by somebody if they let me do that, huh? Missoula, who is a lefty, but basically has to play right-handed because of that continuing shoulder problem. He's got the ball right now looking inside. Smith from outside. Too strong. Tipped up. Rebound. Butler banks it home. Another offensive rebound. They may not, may not make the first shot, but they're going to make a lot of the second shot. Yeah, they stay after it on the offensive board. They did the same thing against Ole Miss. And of course against Seton Hall in a great overtime victory. Also. The offensive board's in evidence. Well, Deshaun Butler fouled out of the game last year at Marquette. Little runner by Acker, bending off, tipped up, still loose. 
And Acker, the littlest man on the court, gets the ball, sets up a three that's good by Hayward, his second. Well, I'll tell you what, Hayward looks like a West Virginia player, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Yeah, I mean, he, he and Deshaun Butler have a very similar game and similar skill sets. First lead of the night for Marquette. They're up by one at 14-13 in the battle inside. Johnson Holden will pick up the foul. We'll have more Big East Network basketball after this. In today's markets, how can you get your retirement plans back on track? Consider Oppenheimer Funds. Whether the markets are up or down, we follow a consistent investment approach. Ask your advisor about Oppenheimer Funds and see how our numbers can help you reach your destination. Call your advisor for a prospectus with complete fund information. Read it carefully and carefully consider fund investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. Mutual funds are subject to market risk and volatility. Shares may lose or gain value. Oppenheimer Funds, the right way to invest. In the most uncertain times, there are some things we know for sure. There will still be weddings, still be babies, and still be bright futures. That's why New York Life has been helping families plan for the expected and unexpected for 164 years. Backed by the highest ratings for financial strength, we're safe and secure, so you can be too. Give your family the gift of a secure financial future. New York Life, the company you keep. versions of the social greeting. The fist bump has been thrust into and out of vogue. The low five was cool for a while. The chest bump had its day, as did the outlaw, the forearm grasp, and the point and go. In certain circles, the headbutt, and of course, the bro hug double back tap combo. But one greeting stands the test of time, with a beer that starts with full flavor and ends with a crisp, clean finish. It's what we do, Budweiser. Hey, want to trade? <laughs> I got plenty. No way. Oh, I'm getting my lunch for a week. Get your own. Hand it over. Lily, I'm your boss. So? Awkward. Get your own Tuscan chicken melt. Fresh toasted with bubbly melted cheese. Surprisingly, nine grams of fat. Part of a Subway Fresh Fit meal. A sim Hayward is the leading scorer in the game. Inbounds play by Missoula. Gets it to Jones and gets it back. Don't look for Missoula to shoot any threes. This is a three on the way. Bending, bending, good. The inside outside play of Jones is really remarkable. He's their best post up guy, and yet he can shoot threes. Among the best improved players in the league. Seven points for him with that three-pointer. Gives West Virginia the lead again. Here's Johnson Odom. He tries to drive. They turn it over. And they have not done that much in the first half. Here's Missoula on the run. He'll take it all the way in and is stripped. The loose ball picked up by Hayward. And back comes David Kubion. Kubion from Venezuela. I like how you pronounce that very nicely. He's going to shoot a three and make us all look good here. <laughs> Tipped into the hands of Deshaun Butler. We're midway through this opening half along with Bob Wenzel. I'm John Sanders. Thanks for joining us in our Big East Conference Network game. All deflected out of bounds. I'm not sure we'll see Truck Bryant at all because he's got two problems now. Yeah, you know, his, his ankle has been a problem and then he tweaked his uh, hamstring in the Seton Hall game. Bob Huggins telling us that uh, he's not really able to move that well as Mitchell comes in, a junior college player who's a uh, reputed excellent three-point shooter and has had some good games early in the year. 
He will check into the lineup. He has been bothered by a knee injury and missed a couple of games. Yeah, first three games of the year he was in double figures. Hasn't been in double figures since. And he hasn't played many minutes since either. Missoula almost lost control of the ball. Finds Mitchell. Butler to Smith. I thought we'd see some zone from Marquette, but so far it's been basically man-to-man -man defense. Yeah, and that's what they normally do. It's hard to play zone when you're a small team. It's hard, the rebounding part. Shot clock winding down. Missoula has it knocked back in his face. He does put up a shot, but it'll go the other way. Five turnovers now for West Virginia, and that late in the game has been a real stickler for them. It was at Cleveland State. And of course, the problem with Seton Hall, they didn't make their free throws in the last minute and wound up with the lights out shooting of Hazel. They're a team that you would think you could press because of their size and because of Missoula's injury. And yet they go through spurts where they do turn the ball over a lot. And then yet they 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 don't turn it over at the end of the game that many times. So, uh, you know, full court pressure for 40 minutes. Cleveland State almost beat West Virginia. So uh, that's probably a formula that other teams should try to use against the number six ranked team. And I think they'll see it. Stop and go move. Nice drive. Sets up a three. Hayward looking for his third. That gives him 11 already. Back on top goes Marquette. Hayward comes into this game shooting 26% from three-point range. That's not very good. You know, you want to be up in the uh, mid-30s at least to be considered an outstanding player, and yet he looks very, very comfortable here. A hold on the way in, called on Marquette. That was a 33, Jimmy Butler. Butler will pick up his first personal. Marquette, his first. You have to, admi I'm sorry, John, you have to admire Marquette. I mean, with the lack of size, they really don't have anybody who's a four or a five man on their team, and yet they play competitively against every team they play against. Left hand shot coming up short. Rebound on the weak side by the Mountaineers, pulled down by Wellington Smith. And now Missoula will run the offense again. E. Banks likes to have the ball in his hands. Got that injured hand still taped, but I don't, I'm not sure he needs it. A strip out in front as they take it away from Jennings and a jam and a foul at the other end. Wow. Lazar! Oh my goodness! Not only the dunk, but the heck of a defensive play at the other end of the floor. He jumps in the passing lane, gets fouled right here, gets close to the basket, the flush. Right here, this is excellent play by a very, very experienced player. And he's already got 13 points. Jennings will pick up his first foul, and he'll immediately go to the bench as well. Lazar averages nearly 19 a game, and man, is he hot in this one. 13 so far tonight. He's a good free throw shooter at 80%. As a matter of fact, the whole team very good at the free throw line. Lazar has had seven games in the 20s already this year. 27 against Xavier, 22 against Michigan, 21 against Wisconsin. He also had 12 rebounds in that game. That's a big game between Marquette and Wisconsin in that state. Well, they lost that game at Wisconsin. They've also lost to Florida State and NC State, but they have wins over Xavier and Michigan. Yes. And of course, the Florida State was a one point game where the seven footer Alibi hit a turnaround in the closing seconds. On the weak side, Jones had it, lost it as Aker takes it away. Quick hands. Biggest lead of the half right now for Marquette. They are up 4 20 to 16. Just inside, eight minutes remaining. Gritty, huh? They're gritty. Yeah, they will take it right to you. They will. They want to spread it out. Look, five guys outside the three-point line. Take a look at this. And now they want to take turns dribbling and going one-on-one. -on -one. Nice hands, John. Got some help from Tommy Bowe, too. Officials time out. Well, Marquette on a 9-3 run right now. They've got the lead in Morgantown. National Football Month, Papa John's wants you to watch the season's best games with a better pizza. <laughs> Papa's in the house. Y'all watching the game? Good. Come on, Come on, wait. Get two large one-topping pizzas for just $16.99 during National Football Month. Made with fresh dough, all-natural sauce, and 100% real cheese. Better ingredients, better pizza. Papa John's. Woo! Let's go get a pretty good pizza. 
Is managing your IT becoming too complex? From phone systems, to internet bandwidth, to network security, the feeling can be overwhelming. At CityNet, we understand the complexity. We can connect the dots and turn the tangled web into straight progress. We are the only West Virginia company to put everything on one bill and be there 24 hours a day, every day. Go with the experts that know CityNet. I'm Jeremy Starks. I'm a Bassmaster professional angler and proud West Virginian. Protecting our clean water, preserving scenic beauty, and saving our jobs requires that we all work together. My coal mining family honors and values our outdoor traditions, clean, clear water, and responsible coal mining. We can have it all, West Virginia. That's why I'm a friend of coal. Almost there. Just five more minutes. Almost home. Statistics show that over 70% of auto fatalities occur close to home on rural roads. Cops. That's why law enforcement is stepping up rural patrols and cracking down on impaired driving. If you are over the limit, you are under arrest because drinking and driving don't mix. Remember, over the limit, under arrest. This message brought to you by the Governor's Highway Safety Program. 734 to play. It's 20 to 16. Marquette has the lead. Hayward has scored nine points himself in the last four minutes. <laughs> 14 points on the game. Lazar. He wants to be an All-American. Doing it at both ends of the floor. He's made three threes. Great defense. Running the floor. Duncan. And this guy is on fire. Lazar Hayward, man, I'll tell you what, he looks terrific out there in this game. And of course, vying for one of the top players in the Big East. He'd love to be one of them. Well, a great job for him of late in boosting Marquette into its biggest lead of the half. And Butler will inbound the ball. John Lazar has 14 points. The rest of the team has six. Here's a drive and a finish. Nicely done that time by Johnson Odom. Johnson Odom. Three point specialist that time worked the drive and the lead grows to six and uh, some grumbling here. I'm John Sanders along with Bob Wenzel. We are delighted to have you along. A little bit of a surprising start after West Virginia scored the first seven. Butler's alone underneath. No doubt about it. I mean, you talk about upset city. Right now, Marquette is in great, great shape. Coming in before the game, you would think they would have very little chance, but really, they are very intelligent. They're spreading the floor. Their star players taking most of the shots. That's him right there. Nice pump fake. And it's going to be a charge that time, and Truck Bryant is on the court. It'll be the first on Lazar Hayward, trying to get inside and working against the smaller Bryant. Used his body, and he hit the deck. Yeah, and this guy has a problem with his ankle and at the same time with his hamstring. So uh, nice sacrificing your body by Mr. Bryant. Goes as the fourth turnover of the opening half with 640 to play. Marquette has moved out to a four point lead. They've been up by as many as six. West Virginia had scored the first seven of the ball game. Bryant almost worked that back door to perfection. He just went off his hands out of bounds. Both teams are keeping the basket area clear. Bob Huggins keeping it clear and then posting up. And then, of course, Buzz Williams at his end of the floor really trying to spread it and go one on one and try to get their quickness involved in the game. Well, West Virginia so far with eight turnovers and eight field goals. Take a look at this wideness right now. Everybody out beyond the three point line. Loose ball kicked out of bounds and it belongs to Marquette. Tonight's Big East Network game is being produced and distributed by ESPN Regional Television Incorporated. And it is a good one. There's no shock there. Big East Conference, every game is going to be competitive. Exactly. 16 teams, John. And of the 16, 11 of the 16 have either 0, 1, or 2 losses on the season so far. Spin move, pull up shot, and air ball. We talked about the fact that Marquette has to play Villanova twice in a week. West Virginia also plays the Wildcats twice this year. The top two preseason picks in the conference. Yep. And right
right now, Syracuse is banging on the door. They are the highest. Yikes! What a drive and finish by Evans. Wow! That came from nowhere. Well, he got a little seam, and he just went right to the basket. Thompson Odom misses a three. He doesn't miss many. Bryant comes back with it. You can tell by Bryant's movements he's not 100%. That's a three that rims off, but underneath is Ebanks with a follow. That's blocked. He tries it again and hits. Repetitive jumping. What a skill set. Devin Ebanks was awesome against Seton Hall, and when they need him, he's coming up big here. Now they've wiped out that six point lead. We are tied at 22. We were tied at 11. Let's take a look at the move and the play by Ebanks. Watch him come in. That's a flush. Amen. And right here, secondary jumping. Stay with it. Third jump. Finally gets the basket in, and he is enthused. He missed three games earlier for personal reasons. Then he hurt his wrist and missed another game. So he's only played six of the ten games that they've had this year. Doing pretty well in this one. He is an exciting player. Now he banks with four rebounds, and they are all offensive rebounds yeah. so far tonight. Well, he was on the all-rookie team last year. There's no doubt about that. Bob Huggins loves his game. And we say he's playing with that wrap. Probably not necessary, but you know, sometimes you're a little superstitious, and if you're playing well, why not? Why change? Right? Yeah, I think that's right, and, and you guys get used to it, right? You know, I mean, that, that's part of it. He didn't play the first three games, and then he played out in the Anaheim tournament. His first touch, he hit a turnaround jumper, and he had two steals at the end of that game against Texas A&M, and uh, he was terrific. I was asking Bob Huggins about his attire. Wearing the warm-up suit. I said, how long are you going to stay with that look? Because he changes a lot during the course of the season. He said, well, until we lose. <laughs> Superstition raising its head. Absolutely. Huh? That's Kubion handling the basketball. Truck Bryant on him. Johnson Odom on a drive. Puts it up, bending off. Tipped up and rebounded by the Mountaineers. Back comes Bryant. Yeah. Oh, nice drive and finish. Well, good job by Bryant. Took it coast to coast. And we're told that the football team has joined us watching the game on ESPN 360 as they get ready for the Gator Bowl. Ah, the West Virginia football team. Yes. Yeah, they're going against Florida State down there in my hometown. A drive, a block, but a foul on Jones. That'll be his first. Fifth team foul on the Mountaineers with 4.33 to play in the half. Well, take the ball to the basket. Well, they do that, don't they? They love When you to do get that. in there, make sure that you try to get it in someone's face so you can draw the foul. When you're a smaller player, getting the ball away from your body is not good. You take it right to the nose of the shot blocker. Bikes second point. He's made two from the line. And here comes the tallest player in the league off the bench. And he is a big, big young man. Yusofa Mbao is in the lineup at 7-2. And two at the line for Bikes. He's only a freshman from Senegal. He plays the front of the press here. This is a half-court trapping situation. They want to trap and then get back into zone, usually. And that's what they're doing right here. Flowers gets it inside. From the corner, a three on the way. Bending, bending, good! What a smile on the face of Jones. He knew he got a fortuitous roll on that one. Yes, he did. That gives him 10. He's the first Mountaineer in double figures tonight. Intensity level of the game's coming up, huh? And I recall the Coppin State game here. That three is on the way and good by Acker, his first points of the game. Coppin State held the basketball until like the last five seconds of every possession. So what happened in the second half, and it was a very close first half game, Mountaineers came out with a full court press, and all of a sudden the intensity really picked up and they won that ball game. Right here, interesting. Seven foot two guy on the front. 
He's going to challenge shots out there, but then he's got to get into close to the basket. Flowers a miss back the other way comes Bikes. I like the strategy by Buzz Williams. You try to keep a superior team off balance. Don't do the same thing for the entire game. They're doing a good job of it at both ends. And they continue to work the perimeter. Williams, of course, was an assistant under Tom Crean before he took over. Yep. Green moved to Indiana. Shot clock at five. And a great That's effort that time. Jonathan Odom with a little floater. Marquette goes up by two again. Let's take a look at the 3-2 zone. Butler has to cover this corner on this side. That's the tough part. Johnson Odom, of course, has to cover the corner and the wing at the same time, which he was trying to do right now. Stripped out of bounds by Johnson Odom that time. With 2.30 to play in the half, we will take a break. He didn't break anything. He stuck it. We'll be back. For the thirsty, for those who hang out in packs, for heroes, for sidekicks, for those who see the glass half empty, for those who see it half full, for those on the right, for those on the left, for those with nicknames, for those with curves, for people that cycle, for people that recycle, for BFFs, for frenemies, for those with style, for lovers, for families, for big families, for everyone. National Football Month, Papa John's wants you to watch the season's best games with a better pizza. <laughs> Papa's in the house. Y'all watching the game? Good. Come on in. Right, right, we'll Get two large one-topping pizzas for just $16.99 during National Football Month. Made with fresh dough, all-natural sauce, and 100% real cheese. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. Woo! It's going to be a pretty good pizza. Down, boy! All right, we're home. Bob Trickett presents the all-new 2010 Buick LaCrosse, now available with one of the most advanced all-wheel drive systems. Six-speed automatic transmission maximizes performance and efficiency. Luxurious interior, standard OnStar, and the 2010 GMC Terrain, GMC's bold new crossover that stands out from the crowd with class-leading fuel economy and built-in technology features that are engineered to enhance the ownership experience. Now available at your GM Superstore, Bob Trickett. It's Marquette by two, and all season long, Champion Apparel will be showcasing the tradition and history of the Big East Conference. Tonight, let's take a look at Jerry West, number 44, how you play and how he could play. Well, he averaged 13 rebounds a game, and there's one of them. And, of course, over 2,000 points without the three-point line. One of the greatest players ever to play college basketball and also one of the greatest ever to play in the NBA. There are his stats. Unbelievable. Played three years, and yet he is the all-time leading scorer and rebounder in West Virginia history. I saw him earlier this year in Los Angeles, uh, the Anaheim Classic, and West Virginia won it. And, of course, he came to the game and uh, was sitting uh, with Bob Huggins, and uh, we made the comment that uh, they're the most popular thing other than cold in the state of West Virginia. <laughs> That's true. That's a good call. <laughs> It was great to see those two guys together. Mitchell gets it to Butler. Two-point lead for Marquette. Butler's pull-up. A little strong, and the rebound snatched by Johnson Odom. Lazar Haywood sat out for four minutes, and Marquette went five and three while he was out. So even though the star player was on the bench, they maintained. 29-27, and right now the Golden Eagles are going to take their time. Zone defense right here. A zone defense look, anyway, back to man-to-man. -man. Switching back and forth during the possession does not work. Great three-pointer that time by Butler. It's him five and boosts the lead to five at 
This is a very impressive performance by Marquette. Well, they can shoot it, Bob. We talked about that. They can shoot the threes. They can shoot the twos. 41% from three-point range is excellent. 8-0 run right now. On the drive, Bryant has it knocked away inside, and it belongs to Marquette. Every time the ball's gone to the paint, either by pass or by dribble against Buzz Williams' teams, five guys collapse, and they slap at the basketball before the bigger guys can get it up over their head, and it's been very, very successful. Yeah. Nine turnovers on the part of West Virginia because of that. The Mountaineers averaging just over 13 on the year, and they've got nine already in the first half. This is the kind of offense that Coppin State played against them, but in this case, use as much of the clock as you can. Shot clock at 10. Acker on a drive off the glass and good. Boy, they are impressive. A 10-0 run. You mentioned this team beat Xavier, they beat Michigan, and then they lost to Florida State on a shot at the buzzer. So they played very, very well. And this is the Golden Eagles' biggest lead of the game. Mountaineers' biggest lead was seven to nothing. And it's their biggest challenge on the year, playing the six-ranked team on an away floor. Mitchell with a miss. Offensive follow is good and a foul. Evang's taken over. He understands when there's a mismatch, and he goes to right to where it should be. Right here, he goes back door. He's in the right place on the weak side. Butler can't do anything at only 6'6". Six, six. Ebanks is a very intelligent basketball player. It'll be the second foul called tonight on Butler. 34.3 seconds to play in the half. Another three-point play the old-fashioned way for Ebanks. He's in double figures now with 10 to match Kevin Jones, and the lead is four. A reminder coming up, our Big East Network halftime report. We'll have some Big East New Year's wishes. Out of town scores, of course, all the stats and highlights. That's on our Big East Network halftime report coming up in just a few ticks of the clock. And of course, tonight Syracuse goes to Seton Hall to play. The number five team in the nation playing against Seton Hall, who almost upset the Mountaineers in the last one. Well, as you said earlier, there are no easy games in conference <laughs> play, and we've started for real now. Spread the floor, take guys on the dribble, use your quickness. That's been the formula for Marquette in this one. Here comes the drive and the kick out to the corner. Three is on the way and buried. Another one by Hayward. He's got 17 points. Fourth three-pointer in the first half. That one goes. Oh, my goodness. How about that shot to end the half? Hayward at one end. And you think it's over, and then Ebanks banks one in from 50 feet. Now, the officials must look at this by rule. So Jim Burr going over to the sideline, and he will take a look to make sure that this happens within the proper time frame. Well, you can see that the clock has expired, but I think he had left his hand before it did, didn't it? Well, I think it was clear that it was made, and they're showing the officials. They're taking a look at it right here. Look at the clock as it goes down. Is it out of his hand before it gets to zero? And clearly it is. Yeah. Looks like about four-tenths of a second left when he got it off and banked it home, so he'll get a three-pointer to the head of the locker. And what an interesting first half. Huh? Oh, my goodness. I'm telling you, this has been great. Marquette really battling. You would think they'd come in here and, and not be confident, but they came in confidently. They've got the lead. It's awesome. A great start to the basketball game. Here's the finish of the first half, courtesy Ebanks, who launches a three-pointer. Marquette in the last 430 of the half outscored at West Virginia 15 to 9. And a huge first half for one of the players we keyed on at the beginning. Hayward has been awesome. <laughs> Lazara Hayward doing big, big things in this game. And one more time. The officials are there. You can see Jim Burr on the lower left. Going up with a hand, he called it good right away. Well, he's a veteran official. He knows what he's doing. And uh, by rule, they have to go and check it out. And they did. And that was our delay. 
And our Big East Network halftime report is coming up. A little bit of a surprise at halftime. It's Marquette leading by four. Each team was up by as many as seven in the first half, but a gritty Marquette team has the lead at halftime. We'll be back. Now get tickets to Mountaineer football and basketball at WVUGame.com. Your online ticket window is now open. Go to WVUGame.com now or to order by phone, call 1-800-WVU-GAME. Believe in something better. Mountaineers are online. MSN Radio, stats, players, breaking news, live video, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 24-7 Mountaineer coverage on msnsportsnet.com. Every day, a child in Appalachia sees a little farther, grows a little taller, and aims a little higher because they have the right support. By donating everything from jungle gyms to college scholarships, Massey Energy is helping build the future of Appalachia, one child at a time. Massey Energy. We work here and we give here because we live here too. Tire deal. Visit a Glock Audi Tire Center near you. Bridgeport, Elkins, Morgantown. Welcome back to our Big East Network halftime report. We are at halftime, a Big East matchup between Marquette and West Virginia. It is holiday time, almost the new year, Bob. Let's take a look at some New Year's wish list for our coaches in the conference. Well, for Jim Calhoun, the intensity is there as always. The fast break, very much in evidence with this year's team. But they need some three-point shooting, John. They'd like to develop some of that to get a deep run in the NCAA tournament. Let's take a look at an undefeated coach so far this season, Jim Beheim. The surprise team in the country, not rated early. They're fifth in the country. They were picked sixth in the Big East. They are fifth in the country. They've got a chance to get a run to the Final Four. And certainly that is on his wish list. What about Jamie Dixon? A little different team for him this year. Everybody's gone of significance on their team. They're rebuilding several players hurt. Getting his entire roster back in action is the big thing on his wish list. Well, another undefeated coach, of course, is on the sidelines right here in the Coliseum. Well, Bob Huggins is undefeated and going strong. Very unusual lineup. Six guys, 6'8", in the starting lineup. Keep that beat going. Get the ride to continue for Bob Huggins. And he has worked up a sweat in a couple of those. How about the fans' New Year's wish list? Well, the fans, as well as the conference office in Providence, they would like to see eight teams in the big dance. That would be nice if they had an all Big East final. Nice wishes for everybody in this holiday season. We've got more to come. We'll continue with our Big East Network halftime report from Morgantown right after these messages. This is a public announcement. Let me get this straight. The big trout then screamed at you and the horse you rode in on. Uh-huh. Well, that was inappropriate behavior. Hmm? Uh, then the cowboy made a comment about you and a side of rice pilaf. Bring it in. College athletics has many traditions, but bad sportsmanship isn't one of them. 
respect. It's the name of the game. When it comes to uncertain financial times, United Bank has a very unique perspective. Seasons may change, but United Bank is always a constant, providing you safety, security, and sound decision making. That's the reason we've been in business since 1839. Safe, sound, secure. It's the hallmark of our success. United Bank, at your service. So remember, trash lawn dishes and stay out of trouble. <laughs> stove? TV? Stove? Disasters happen. We take care of them all. Call. Mike's gone, isn't she? Yeah. Hey, wanna trade? <laughs> I got plenty. No way. Oh. I'll give you my lunch for a week. Get your own. Hand it over. Lily, I'm your boss. So? Awkward. Get your own Tuscan chicken melt. Fresh toasted with bubbly melted cheese. Surprisingly, nine grams of fat. Part of a Subway Fresh Fit Meal. A simple way to enjoy eating better. Subway, eat fresh. This is United Hospital Center. Progressive, improving, advancing orthopedic surgery for our region. Leading the way in hip arthroscopy, an innovative procedure that may help postpone or eliminate the need for hip replacement surgery. Changing the way we perform knee replacements that means shorter hospital stays and faster recovery. At UHC, we keep getting better. And so do our patients. UHC, the future of healthcare, is here. Welcome back. Our Big East Network halftime report continues. A bit of a surprise so far. 37-33 Marquette, the leading undefeated number six West Virginia. And Bob will take a look at some other scores. Some of the big schools having an easy time of it, some not so easy. Yeah, look at the lower left. Purdue and Iowa in a tight one at half. Iowa trying to slow the game down against the number four team in the nation. Kentucky rolling, of course. Georgia Tech with their freshmen doing well also. Texas rolling against Gardner Webb. Remember two years ago, Gardner Webb beat Kentucky, and uh, Clemson doing pretty well so far. Those are some of the out-of-town scores. You get more of our Big East Network halftime report coming up. 37-33, Marquette leads West Virginia. Everyone's got an opinion. Andy, uh, just, there's one thing to say about him. Right? He's just a heck of a shooter. You know, there's no question that he's the, he's the heart and soul of that team. You know, he, he can light it up at any given time. I respect him a great deal. And once he gets that, that kind of confidence going, and he sees the ball going through a few times, you know if the other team's going to have a long night. Playing against these stars night in and night out, uh, it's great to, to form the relationship that you do on the court. You know, that's something that you can really appreciate playing in the Big East. Managing your IT is complex. What if it becomes too much to handle? At CityNet, we know what to do. We can manage everything. From phone, to internet, to network management. We bring it all together. We are the only West Virginia company to put everything on one bill and be there 24 hours a day. Go with the experts that know CityNet. We just recently received a hot cold truck it's funded by the West Virginia Lottery. It's one of several that have been uh, delivered to senior centers throughout the state that give us an opportunity to uh, better serve our senior citizens with our home delivery meal program. The truck will allow us to serve food at correct temperatures and to reach our vulnerable seniors in more rural areas of West Virginia. Because of the West Virginia Lottery, our seniors win. You know us. I'm Fran Whiteman. And I'm Chris Burdett. Have you been injured in an accident? We've spent years sacking the insurance companies. Call our law firm, Whiteman Burdett. Don't let the insurance company continue to ignore your phone calls. Don't wait while your bills pile up and while the insurance company refuses to pay for your medical care. Call our law firm, Whiteman Burdett, and let us handle the insurance company. We're on your side. Call Whiteman Burdett today at 367-9422. There, just five more minutes. 
Almost. Statistics show that over 70% of auto fatalities occur close to home on rural roads. Cops. That's why law enforcement is stepping up rural patrols and cracking down on impaired driving. If you are over the limit, you are under arrest because drinking and driving don't mix. Remember, over the limit, under arrest. This message brought to you by the Governor's Highway Safety Program. Welcome back to Morgantown, West Virginia. Our Big East Network halftime report continues with Marquette up by four. Each team led by as many as seven in the opening half, but it's a four-point difference at halftime. I'm John Sanders along with Bob Wenzel. Very interesting first half. Let's take a look at some highlights, and it was certainly a highlight-type night for Lazar Hayward. Well, he's got 17 points in the first half, and uh, most of them have been from the perimeter. He's a 26% three-point shooter, and he has made four of five from downtown. That is big-time shooting. As a team, they made seven out of ten from downtown, and Lazar Hayward has been all over the floor, clearly the star of the game for Marquette in this one. He is keeping them in the game with the lead single-handedly. On the other side, Deshaun Butler moves well without the ball and scores. Inside, Devin Ebanks has been a guy who has done some damage too. And there we see Butler posting up against a smaller opponent. And then Ebanks on the offensive boards has been a demon. He's got 13 in the first half. The 6'9 sophomore doing very, very good things. And at the buzzer, that's in the three to keep West Virginia in close. Statistically, it breaks down like this. You look at the numbers for the Eagles, terrific. E. Banks and Kevin Jones, the two that are in double figures, but most of the offense has come from number 32 wearing the blue. I'm not sure what's going to happen in the second half, but I tell you what, it was a very entertaining first 20 minutes, wasn't it? Well, I think the next 20 is going to be even more entertaining. On West Virginia's side, you're going to see the intensity build at the defensive end especially. They let down at certain parts of the game. I don't think that they can shoot 7 for 10 in the from three-point range in the second half as well. The score from three-point range, 21 to 9 in favor of Marquette. That's the big difference in the opening half of play. We've got more of our Big East Network halftime report coming up, so stay with us. Back to Morgantown in just a moment. This commercial changed my life. It also. I look forward to playing against you know, a very talented player. And the one is talented, but he works really hard on the court as well. I think when you think about this, Sean, you just think about you know, the ability he has on both ends of the court. You see a lot of players go, they score a lot and they rebound a lot, but they don't really help their teams. And when he came in our gym last year, you know, he was a vocal leader. With a guy like Deshaun, with as anyone in the Big East, you're going to go hard the whole game with anybody. You know, but after the game, you know, win or lose, you know, everyone's just friends, everyone's cool with each other. You know, that's how it is in this league. Ever since I was little, I, I knew, I know what my potential is, and I won't settle for anything less. If I know if I can get an A in the class, then I'm going to get an A in the class. To be able to do academics and sports, I think that is a great role model for little kids to look up to because not all little kids are going to be able to go and play Division I basketball, but they can go to college and get an education. sales event. Now get up to 700 customer cash and payments as low as $69 a month. And rediscover why for yourself. Yeah, man, come see the guys. Get your best deal now at RG Yamaha, Route 20 south of Clarksburg, Nutter Ford. So, you got everything you wanted for Christmas, except a new vehicle from Earth Dodge Chrysler Jeep in Fairmont? Well, <laughs> we have a deal for you. Because you know this is the best week of the year to buy a new vehicle. Oh! Here's the deal. We can pay less in taxes by passing the savings on to you. You can save up to $10,000 on new vehicles. Since we have the largest selection in West Virginia, nobody can beat our deals. I mean, nobody. These deals end at midnight New Year's Eve, so hurry in this week to Earth Dodge Chrysler Jeep in Fairmont. Today's game is presented by United Bank, West Virginia's bank. We're united with the Mountaineers by the West Virginia Lottery. 
When you play, West Virginia wins. By U.S. Cellular, who gives you free incoming calls, texts, and picks. U.S. Cellular, believe in something better. By Budweiser, with full flavor and a crisp, clean finish, it's what we do. By Walker Machinery, supporting the goal of clean, carbon-neutral coal for the 21st century. Yes, coal. And by Papa John's, better ingredients, better pizza. Papa Second time this season that West Virginia has trailed at halftime. We were tied four times. We had five lead changes, but it is Marquette at halftime, 37-33. I'll tell you, it's been a very, very entertaining game, and I think it's going to be a more entertaining second half. The big lineup is in there. The starters are in there for both squads. And, of course, Lazar Hayward has been absolutely fabulous in this game. Seven for ten from three-point range and a half. That's remarkable. It is unbelievable. And as you said, if it continues, the Mountaineers might be in deep trouble. Jones off the glass, rattles it home. Nice move. The double team was coming, and he went the other way. When you think about improved players in the league, Jones is at the top of the list, as is Abramitis at Notre Dame and Pena at Villanova. Interesting change of defensive philosophy playing a little bit more compact not out there trying to guard guys off the dribble as much Another three this one misses just the second that Hayward has missed in the game And now the Mountaineers with a chance to tie or maybe take the lead look at the difference in size right here yeah, huge isn't it six nine five nine Butler with a touch He needs to get rid of the ball So Ebanks to the rescue Shot clock at 15. We're, we played one minute in the second half. There's an inside pass and a move and a foul. The high low play. Nice pass by Flowers. When you are fronted, when the ball is coming in from the wing, the best thing to do is go to the top of the key and feed it from there. And that's exactly what they did. The wing is not open. He's being fronted. See? And then, of course, he can easily go to the basket. Bikes not tall enough to guard people close to the basket right there a very very nice play just the third free throw attempt of the game we're tied again at 37 and Butler will try to put the Mountaineers back on top and does they've scored the first five remember they started the game by scoring the first seven full court pressure on the free throw line but the type where you trap at the 10 second line if you can We'll see if they go back zone or go back man to man out of this. They stay man. But notice they're not pressuring as much, so they can help a little bit more, and they won't be exposed to the dribble drive quite as much when they play this kind of defense. To be on on a drive. Gets it back outside. Johnson Odom inside with a nice feed, but a miss on the easy one by Butler. Got it back. And that time he could not hit. Very interesting in change of strategy by Huggins. They were out pressuring in the first half and they got beat off the dribble. They got all spread out and out of whack. He says now we're going to play from the three point line and in and not try to pressure so much. Pull up jumper comes up short. Rebound goes to Johnson Odom. See, they switched that time. Lazar Hayward was on Jones instead of Bikes. Butler is fouled. That'll be number two on John Flowers, the junior out of Waldo, Maryland. John Flowers, his second team foul number one. Well, right here, put the ball on the floor. Very nice move. He's a right-handed player. Goes well with his left. Clearly fouled by Flowers. Flowers, a very good athlete. Got a lot of hops and length. Butler at the line for the first time. And knocks us up again. 38-38. Tomball, Texas, the hometown of Jimmy Butler. Mbao will check back in the lineup. The bikes will go to the bench. Butler also went to Tyler Junior College in Tyler, Texas. Of course, Buzz Williams' background, lots of time spent in Texas himself. Yeah, he's a Texan, isn't he? Yes. Two at the line for Jimmy Butler, giving seven. And here comes the pressure. Sofa at the point at 7-2. It's handled that time. Ebank sets it up. 3-2 zone right here. The corners should be open if the ball moves quickly. A 
another lead change. West Virginia regaining the lead. Butler had it, and a little no-look tap pass sets up Jones. Nice. Nice dissection of the zone there. Mountaineers by three. Mbao along the baseline. No place to go. Johnson Odom. Hayward thought about the three. This is a three. It's going to come up short. We've got a foul inside. And it's going to go on Mbao. So he will pick up the foul. Dissect the zone, get into the seams, and then make a nice little pass. Nice play by Deshaun Butler and Jones, of course, the recipient. Butler handles the press, gets through a potential double team, and then gives it up to Ebanks. The press is succeeding in one thing, Bob, is taking about 10 seconds off the shot clock. Yeah, but they've really been executing much better in the second half. A junior college player. His job is to shoot threes when he's open. He hasn't been open much in this one. This kind of defense that Marquette is playing takes a toll on you. Very, very tough to do for long periods of time. Very unusual bad shot that time by Deshaun Butler as he had a good look from the foul. I think fatigue setting in on both teams right now. A lot of guys panting heavily. Buzz Williams decides to hold the ball out, spread the floor, take a rest while you're on offense. And meantime, Truck Bryant is going to get ready to come back in along with Cam Thurman for West Virginia. Notice all five guys beyond the three-point line. Shot clock at eight. This is smart. Butler on a drive. Yeah, shot clock violation. Well, it didn't work out for Buzz Williams, but his team did get a chance to rest a little bit while they had the basketball. It's 40-39. The Mountaineers have squeezed on top. We're in the second half, 14-44 to play. We just recently received a hot cold truck. It's funded by the West Virginia Lottery. It's one of several that have been uh, delivered to senior centers throughout the state to give us an opportunity to uh, better serve our senior citizens with our home delivery meal program. The truck will allow us to serve food at correct temperatures and to reach our vulnerable seniors in more rural areas of West Virginia. Because of the West Virginia Lottery, our seniors win. For the thirsty, for those who hang out in packs, for heroes, for sidekicks, for those who see the glass half empty, for those who see it half full, for those on the right, for those on the left, for those with nicknames, for those with curves, for people that cycle, for people that recycle, for BFFs, for frenemies, for those with style, for lovers, for families, for big families, for everyone. Hi, I'm Jeremy Starks. I'm a Bassmaster professional angler and a proud West Virginian. 
and what a dream it is to be fishing for a living. I began my career on the beautiful streams and rivers right here in West Virginia, and protecting these valuable resources for future generations is very important to me. I was able to grow up in the outdoors of West Virginia because of the paychecks coal mining provided, and my family taught me to respect our water and energy resources while using them to make dreams like mine come true. At Mon General, we're your community hospital, and we see your safety first. As a recipient of the Health Grades 2009 Patient Safety Excellence Award, we're in the top 5% of all U.S. hospitals and the only one in West Virginia to receive the award four years running. We see you here at one of the top 5% of all U.S. hospitals for patient safety. Mon General, we see you healthy, we see you happy, we see you in everything we do. A 7-2 run to start the second half has put West Virginia on top 40 to 39. 0 for 7 in the second half, shooting the ball from our camp. Well, getting a high-low play is something that you always want to do. And nifty passing on the interior against the zone. And that's why the Mountaineers have come back strongly in the second half. Kevin Jones having a good day so far, huh? 14 points. Six of nine, it's always better to shoot better than 50%. He is really an outstanding guy. Well, you touched on it at halftime on our Big East Network halftime report. Can they continue to shoot the ball as well as they did in the first half? And it has not happened so far. Forty thirty-nine. Mountaineers have the ball against the pressure. And they're going to see this kind of pressure all year long. Chuck Bryant in the game right now, even though a bit hobbled. Sure with the basketball. Thurman, more of a facilitator than anything out there. Oh, oh that's a nice move. Oh, Finished by Jones. He's got 16 points. Notice the contain more than pressure. And notice the Thurman has changed his jersey. I think there was a little blood in the first half. Yeah, he's normally number two. He's got number 10 on, and his name is not on the back. So make sure everybody knows who he is now, Mr. Sanders. <laughs> I think you'll know who he is. <laughs> Odd lineup right now. Truck Bryan, who has not been playing, he's in there with Thurman and Mitchell. And that means that Devin Ebanks goes to the four spot, so he plays inside more. Three-point lead, West Virginia. Kubian for three, rattles at home. How about that? West Virginia works hard to get a two, and Kubian responds with a three. What a weapon the three-point shot is, boy, when you've got three or four guys who can make them. We are tied once again. It's 44-44. So about seven minutes gone in this second half. Along with Bob Wenzel, I'm John Sanders. We've got a good one going tonight in Morgantown. Glad you could join us. That's Jones. Now the shot clock at five. And Trump Bryant will try to do something about it as he drives in, misses the bank shot, and it's a shot clock violation because it didn't hit the rim. Exactly. Odd lineup right now in there for Bob Huggins, although he has two of his triumvirate. When I think of triumvirate for Bob Huggins' team, that is Deshaun Butler, Devin Ebanks, and Kevin Jones. Usually he has two of those three in at least at all times. Now he's got all three in. Hayward, who had the great first half with 17, has not scored here in the second half. This is Acker, smallest man on the court, listed at 5'7", maybe. And what you just said, even though Lazar Hayward has not scored, they are still right in the game. Stripped away from Hayward inside. Mitchell back the other way. Traveling violation. I think Devin Ebanks had made up his mind he was going to go to the hole. Yeah, right? he tried to split the defense, and two guys compressed on him too quickly, and therefore he had to take a couple of extra steps. Right here, the transition break. Two guys collapse on him, and he's trying to go between them, and can't do that. Well, 23 to play. We're tied at 44. 
Hayward's got his man now. Nice matchup between he and Ebanks. Hayward's turnaround, a little bending hook goes home. Well, he has made threes, of course, four out of five, and now he's trying to go on the inside. He really shows his versatility at the offensive end. The baby hook worked out for him that time. We played eight minutes of the second half. This is Mitchell outside. And we've had nine lead changes in this game. Wow. Man, we get back to another time. They do some beautiful things, don't they? Goodness gracious. Great pass, great vision, nice cut. Because, I'm sorry, John. Keep in mind now, Marquette last year in the NCAA tournament. So they got a lot of pride. And there's a guy who was watching the NCAA tournament last year, the Raleigh native at Hutchinson Junior College. That is his second three. He's in double figures with 10. And the lead is three. He makes about three threes a game. And a great job off the bench by outscoring West Virginia's bench 17 to 2. And there's Butler again. <laughs> you know, West Virginia, you get these kind of plays when you have guys who have played with each other a lot. West Virginia, a lot of experience. Of course, not as much experience on the part of Marquette. They're doing it with the three. Bikes with the basketball. And a stop and go move. Almost lost it, then tracks it down. He's going to shoot from the corner. Rims out. Mitchell the rebound. Back from the Mountaineers. They want to push it right now. Mitchell for three. Yes. That's his thing. Chuck Bryant is doing a great job distributing the basketball. They're offensively more efficient in this game with him in. Well, the timeout taken by Marquette. 51 49. Another lead change. 10 31 to go. Beautiful setup and a beautiful basket to lead. Is managing your IT becoming too complex? From phone systems, to internet bandwidth, to network security, the feeling can be overwhelming. At CityNet, we understand the complexity. We can connect the dots and turn the tangled web into straight progress. We are the only West Virginia company to put everything on one bill and be there 24 hours a day, every day. Go with the experts that know CityNet. There, just five more minutes, almost home. Statistics show that over 70% of auto fatalities occur close to home on rural roads. Cops. That's why law enforcement is stepping up rural patrols and cracking down on impaired driving. If you are over the limit, you are under arrest because drinking and driving don't mix. Remember, over the limit, under arrest. This message brought to you by the Governor's Highway Safety Program. I'm Brandon, and I'm a numbers guy. My name's Cassibla, and I want to be an artist. My name's Danielle, and I plan to study medicine. My name is Quentin, and I want to be a veterinarian. If I get a full ride scholarship, a full ride scholarship to me would mean everything. I could go right into my career, and I wouldn't have to worry about a thing. Full ride scholarship would definitely be a big help to me and my family. Midway point of the second half, it is 51 to 49, and the three pointers beginning to work out a little bit here for West Virginia. So Casey Mitchell knocks this one in on the pass from Shruck Bryant. Of their eight field goals, they've got seven assists. And here are my biggest games of the decade. Of course, last year, Syracuse beating UConn in that six overtime game. Another quadruple overtime. Notre Dame beat the Hoyas back in 0-2. And the Big East Championship in 06, remember when Jerry McNamara went crazy? Yeah. Three games in a row? Those are some big ones. If this one keeps going, this might get on the list. 
And for both these teams, it's going to be the last game of the decade. Mountaineers have a two-point lead. Johnson Odom starts to move and then pulls it back out. Inside, Hayward will go to the foul line after he gets his 21st point. You know what's remarkable about this guy? In the first half, he's four for five from downtown. They guard him well from three-point range in this half, and he responds by going inside and delivering in the paint. Great stuff by Lazar Hayward. We are tied for the ninth time tonight. National Football Month, Papa John's wants you to watch the season's best games with a better pizza. <laughs> Papa's in the house. Y'all watching the game? Good. Come on in, right, man. Wait. Get two large one-topping pizzas for just $16.99 during National Football Month. Made with fresh dough, all-natural sauce, and 100% real cheese. Better ingredients, better pizza. Papa John's. Woo! It's gonna be a pretty good pizza. boy, all right, we're home. The right education can mean freedom. Freedom to do what you want, where you want. An affiliate of La Cordon Blue Schools, North America. You can learn the skills and techniques that can give you the freedom to explore the world of the culinary industry. Freedom to start establishing your name in the restaurant business. There's so many possibilities, but only one number to call. Call right now to get your complimentary career guide. Call 800-980-5094. That's 800-980-5094. Mountaineer Bend, gear up at shopwbu.com, your one-stop shop for everything Mountaineer. Sportswear, kids' clothing, office accessories, and golf gear are just a click away at shopwbu.com. For guys, kidding is the highest compliment. Hey, everybody look at Gabe, bringing back the V-neck. Well done. That uh, top button is fighting for its life. I love the stash, but where'd you dock the steamboat? Hey, Steve, they make that shirt any tighter? Even Europe thinks your pants are too tight. Has he told you about a scrapbooking? But when the kidding ends, hey, right. we reach for the beer that starts with full flavor <laughs> and ends with a crisp, clean finish. It's what we do. Budweiser. During National Football Month, Papa John's wants you to watch the season's best games with a better pizza. <laughs> Papa's in the house. Y'all watching the game? Good. Come on in, right, man. Wait. Get two large one-topping pizzas for just $16.99 during National Football Month. Made with fresh dough, all-natural sauce, and 100% real cheese. Better ingredients, better pizza. Papa John's. Woo! It's going to be a pretty good pizza. boy. All right, we're home. Now get tickets to Mountaineer football and basketball at WVUGame.com. Your online ticket window is now open. Go to WVUGame.com now. Or to order by phone, call 1-800-WVU-GAME. Every day, a child in Appalachia sees a little farther, grows a little taller, and aims a little higher because they have the right support by donating everything from jungle gyms to college scholarships. Massey Energy is helping build the future of Appalachia, one child at a time. Massey Energy, we work here and we give here because we live here too. Point range, a small team, using lots of good stuff at the offensive end to spread the teams out. Hayward puts up a little floater that won't go, the rebound to Mitchell. Marquette by one. They led by four at halftime. Mitchell from short range. That one will not go. And the rebound snatched down and brought out of there by Bikes. Tonight's Big East Network game produced and distributed by ESPN Regional Television Incorporated. And there he goes again. Well, when you shoot 58% from three-point range after a, uh, 12 games in a season, it is no accident that you can make shots. And oh. every time Darius Johnson Odom goes up, John, it looks like it's going in. Back to a four-point advantage. And Bob Huggins' team has some work to do. 
Our Big East Coaches Spotlight is brought to you by Oppenheimer Funds. Let's take a closer look at the very successful Bob Huggins. 649 career wins. That's a lot of wins. Fourth among active Division I coaches. The other three, Coach K at Duke, Coach Calhoun at UConn, and Coach Beheim at Syracuse. All three of them in the Hall of Fame, and that guy will be in there one day. Right here, Johnson Odom, the lefty. Nothing but bottom. He's got great radar. And he's also got 13 points. His high is 18. Hayward's high is 28. He's closing in on that with 22. And they are back on top by four. So the second half has been even after a fast start again for West Virginia. Marquette's really a gritty team. Missoula back in the lineup. Very aggressive defense. West Virginia trying to attack it with cuts, not using the dribble for penetration much. Shot clock at 10. Well, there we see some dribble penetration. That, that's the antidote to this type of pressure D. Butler put it on the floor, avoided the charge. This foul will be an out-of-bounds situation. When you're pressured like this, you got to put the ball on the floor. Right here, he gets tripped up from behind. And there's Butler. Nice team now for Deshaun. Execution of the out of bounds plays. Those are the special situations you work on on the day of the game. Missoula trying to put some pressure on Aker, who hits the deck. Mountaineers have possession of the ball. And they'll keep it. Oh, my goodness. What a great play with a guy with one shoulder, huh? That's exactly right. And he goes out there and plays hard every single night, no matter what. Acker wants to get him back. Jones. That one comes up short from the rebound to Marquette. Brought out of there by Jimmy Butler. Missoula's angry that they didn't score because he worked so hard. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> to get that turnover. Now it's Bikes, working on Ebanks, takes him low, puts it up, missed the shot, and on the weak side is tracked down by Ebanks. Bikes thinks he can take him, but the length. He's got a held ball, it's gonna go the other way. The arrow favors Marquette. That'll take us to a timeout with 7.31 to go, a dandy going on in Morgantown. Anyone. And it's a great night to be a Mountaineer. The West Virginia University Mountaineers have shot the number two rated Pitt Panthers. Sailor. Believe in something better. My name is Garrett, and I went to college for free. My classes, my dorm, even my textbooks, all taken care of. Since I don't have to worry about the cost of college, I can focus a lot more on my studies and playing on the golf team, which is what I came to school to do. This scholarship has allowed me to focus on my dream of becoming a golf course manager by continuing my studies in Myrtle Beach. It's your dream. Make it happen. I did. I can't believe they won't finance me. How could they turn down a face like this? Maybe it's because I hiccup during the interview. Do you think that's it? Well, maybe, but no matter why you were turned down, go to GoJDB.com. It's fast and private. We don't even care if you hiccup. Complete the application and you're on your way to a better car with an affordable payment. GoJDB.com and get on the road. JD to the rescue. JD, my rider. Oh, yeah. 
Right now it's a two point edge for Marquette. The Golden Eagles on top of the Mountaineers 55 to 53. Seven and a half to play and the scramble has been on. Both teams want the basketball. <laughs> Both teams want the win. That's for sure. Missoula comes in, knocks everybody down. Get this thing on to our team. Yeah, Great hust by that guy. Remember two years ago in the NCAA tournament? Right. He beat Duke and he played great in that game. That was his coming out party. Here's our stat track. Difference right. for West Virginia, 32 points in the paint, but the three-point shooting of Marquette is maybe a bigger factor here tonight. They've yeah. got the lead by two. That's unbelievable. 10 of 15 threes. That is remarkable outside shooting. You're going to win most games playing like that. Well, remember they had the great first half when there were seven of ten, so they haven't cooled off much. Nope. And this is against the West Virginia team that's pretty good on D. Hayward has that one blocked, and Missoula tracks it down. Good job by Jones that time. Along with that 10 of 15, think about this. It's an away game. Usually guys can do that at home, but at West Virginia? All right. Too strong out of the hands of Deshaun Butler, and this will be an easy one for Hayward. Well, that's Missoula's fault right there. Point guard's supposed to be back. You never give up easy baskets like that. Missoula's, in his aggression, went to the offensive board and didn't stay back. So now it's a four point lead, matching the largest of the second half for Marquette. West Virginia has led by as many as three. And they've got their hands full tonight. Shot clock at five. Button's going to have to do something. He loses the ball. And we are in Morgantown, West Virginia. 15 turnovers now for the Mountaineers, who are down by four. I'm John Sanders, along with veteran analyst Bob Wenzel. We're having some fun, though, tonight, huh? Uh, this is the greatest, I tell you. College basketball. Marquette comes in. People don't think they have a chance against the next six team in the nation. And they have a game plan and they got guts and they're playing great. And most of all, they're shooting the ball from downtown. Six minutes remaining in the game. Marquette beat Xavier. Marquette beat Michigan. And a turnover by Johnson Odom that time. Here comes Deshaun Butler. Fans, and we've got a good crowd. In West Virginia, only two points in the last five minutes. Ebanks to Butler. Spins along the baseline, uses the glass, doesn't get the roll. Kept alive, still battling for the ball. Back the other way comes Johnson Oda. Five blue jerseys around it, right? When you're small, you got a gang rebound, and they did. West Virginia needs to put the ball on the floor and drive to the basket. Right now, they're getting too many jump shots. On their cuts to the basket, they're dropping the ball, turning it over. They averaged 13 turnovers. They got 15 already in this game. And we've still got five minutes to go. Bikes with it. Pulls up for a jumper and nails it. Bikes. Seven points now for the junior from Milwaukee. And the lead grows to six. Biggest lead of the half. A 10-2 run right now by the Golden Eagles. Deshaun Butler looks inside, goes instead to Ebanks. That's a three-pointer that's going to come up short and be tracked down by Butler. Yeah, all jump shots, nothing around the basket. The stuff they got earlier in the half has been shut down. They had cuts to the basket, got a lot of layups, nothing in the last five or six minutes inside. Johnson Odom gives it up to Hayward. He'll get some help from Kubion. Missoula hitting the deck. Hayward for three, short. Joe Missoula, you can tell he's hurting if he comes back. Oh, yeah, he, he's a limited player with that shoulder injury. Only two points in the last seven and a half minutes for West Virginia. Defensive Marquette has West Virginia way out of sync in their half court stuff. Oh, what a great drive and finish. I tell you what, Ebanks was 17, made up his mind what he was going to do early. Well, I
told you they needed to put the ball on the floor and drive it to the basket. And that's what they need to do against this type of defense. And that gets the crowd on their feet. Buzz Williams wants a timeout. He'll get it with a four point lead and three and a half minutes to play. The pass and cut offense is not going to do it against pressure. You've got to put the ball on the basket right here. Ebanks does it from about 35 feet. The degree of difficulty, nine on a 10 point scale on that one. But the rest of the Mountaineers have to do that same thing and take the ball to the basket with the dribble. Well, we'll see what the strategy is for the final 3.30. It's a four-point lead for Marquette. And the same lead they had at halftime. You know, they've had success. This is their fifth year in the Big East Conference. They've had 10-plus wins in conference play each of the first four years, and only Georgetown and Pitt can match that total of conference victory. Well, that's a good point. And, of course, we have a great crowd here, but Marquette, the third leading team in the conference in terms of attendance behind Syracuse and Louisville. They have a very big arena. They average about 14,000 people a game up in Milwaukee. And of course, a great crowd here for this one this evening as well. A little conversation going on between Kubion and Miz Missoula. Joe loves to chat. <laughs> In today's markets, how can you get your retirement? Excuse me. When you get a minute, can... When you get a minute? Not too heavy, not too light. Bud Light. The difference is drinkability. We take a lot of pride in our party platters. They are a time saver. They're delicious. If you need it for your holiday, we have it. You couldn't do it yourself for the price. It's a great value. Kroger, more value for the way you live. Start your own holiday tradition with party platters from the Kroger Deli. Choose from deli meat and cheese, veggie with ranch dip, or fruit with vanilla yogurt dip. Each serves 12 to 16 people, just $24.99. Kroger, more value for the way you live. It's our year-end closeout, and we're going out with our biggest bang of the year. All sizes, one low price. That's right, a twin, full, queen, or king set for one low price each piece. Like this Sealy pillow top. Don't pay $6.99, it's only $1.29 each piece. Any size. Get a queen for the price of a twin. Plus, free delivery on any mattress set. And take advantage of free financing for up to 48 months. It's the year-end closeout event, now through Monday at Mattress Warehouse. Tonight's Big East Network game has been brought to you by Oppenheimer Funds, the right way to invest. And by Champion, it's how you play. We are back. There's the reset. Three timeouts for West Virginia, two for Marquette. Not much in the way of fouls. Let's take a look at our Papa John's player of the game, and that's an easy pick at this point <laughs> in the contest. Well, Lazar Hayward has been spectacular in this game. He's got 24 points. He's been making them from all over the floor. In the first half, he was four of five from three-point range. In the second half, he's been all inside. So Mr. Outside and Mr. Inside, Lazar Hayward looking like an all-Big East performer in this one. Inbound play comes to Butler. Working on Butler. It's our Star Watch matchup that we talked about. And a turnover. Good pressure defense that time from West Virginia. The foul situation is instructive at this point. Nobody even close to being in the one and one. 
If you're Marquette and you get in a bad way, foul early. Nobody will go to the free throw line. Not on the shooter, but in, the, in a bad way, foul early. That's Thurman outside. Now Jones. Shot clock at 10. Game clock at 246. He can't create like he used to here. He gets oh my. And gets the basket. That's you, a huge one. You talk about heart. You're right, John. That is a huge, huge play. Missoula with a broken shoulder, taking it hard to the basket. He rarely shoots nowadays since the surgery last year where he had to sit out the whole year. And right here, taking it strong to the basket. That's got to hurt. Uh, he liked it, though. Let's Watch, he shoots right-handed yes, at the does. free throw line. He's a left-handed player. Didn't hit rim. And he made two against Seton Hall. That's still a big basket for him to get inside. Oh, big time. Big time. West Virginia with the full court pressure now. Hacker finds an open man in Johnson Odom. This is Bites with it. Fans are getting into it. The student section standing behind us. Shot clock at 15. 220 on the game clock. Now Butler. Butler with a drive and a beautiful runner. Oh, man. That was a very difficult shot. Terrific play by Jimmy Butler. Nine points for him, and West Virginia will use one of its timeouts. So each team will have two remaining. Did you say over? I'll tell you what, some big baskets and none bigger than this one. Jimmy Butler, he avoids the charge. He's actually almost out of bounds when he shoots this ball. Watch him on the baseline. Yeah, he almost stepped out of bounds. Wow. That is a tough, tough shot. He was defended well and made it anyway. Back to the four-point lead. We have exactly two minutes remaining. Well, Bob Huggins trying to figure out some kind of strategy. But again, you go back. The big shots and the consistency of this offense from Marquette has been impressive. Yeah, and, and their defense has been very good through a stretch of the game. They took away the interior, forced a lot of turnovers, and then they didn't, West Virginia didn't put the ball on the floor enough to counteract that. And that's where they got themselves down. Look at the foul situation on the right. Four fouls. Doesn't go into the one and one until the seventh foul. So both teams can afford to foul and still not be punished for it. Now West Virginia's last lead was 51-49. That was midway through this second half. But I tell you what, the Golden Eagles have cracked down on the Mountaineers. Interesting to see who's in the game right now. Missoula and Thurlman along with the Triumvirate. This is Deshaun Butler, who has managed to stay out of foul trouble tonight. Thurlman looks inside, goes to Jones. They want, want Butler on the interior. Here's Missoula. Butler, shot clock at six. Butler to the foul line. And an offensive foul on Deshaun Butler. Holy cow. Carl Hess made the call. Butler can't believe it. The drive, watch his left elbow. Yep, a little push. <laughs> Not much. <laughs> but the important thing is the four-point lead with less than a minute and a half to play. And the ball back in the hands of Marquette. Got to get a stop here, no doubt about it. Got to get a stop. Marquette, good advantage here. They can all handle Johnson Odom outside. Shot clock at eight. Little stop and go move. He gets inside. Won't go. But he gets his own rebound and will go to the foul line. Great hustle by the part of Johnson Odom. He takes it to the basket. He's defended nicely right here by the Ebanks. But Ebanks gets pushed under the basket. The ball comes right back to Odom. He's not blocked out. And as a result, he gets his chance at the free throw line. 
And we mentioned it earlier, this is a very good foul shooting team. West Virginia, by the way, Bob has taken only three free throws in the game. That's remarkable when you consider the difference in size, right? Amazing. 78% on the year for Darius. Trying to build their biggest lead of the second half. Oh, I take that back. They had a six-point lead earlier. He makes one out of two. That gives him 14 on the night. Two-possession game for West Virginia to score. A minute to go. Got to go. And it's Missoula hounded and fouled. But as you said, that's not a bad foul. No, it's a great foul. You know, they still got two more to give before the one and one situation. So the clock is their ally when they're ahead. Very, very smart play. Well, somebody's got to inbound the ball for West Virginia. And we'll bring it all the way back with a new clock. 55 seconds left in the game. Marquette trying to pull off the upset in their opening regular season game in Big East play. Ebanks drives inside and is fouled. Well, the good part about that is the clock stops as well. Ebanks determined. Going hard. He got fouled by two guys, but that does not mean he gets four free throws. <laughs> he doesn't get any, as a matter of fact. That's because, right. There's no shot, right? But they will be in the bonus in the final 46 seconds here, will the Mountaineers. Good foul by Marquette. Here's Jones from outside. Puts up the jumper way strong. Loose ball picked up by Marquette. Stolen. Jones to the basket, lays it in. Determination. Timeout, West Virginia. Jones making the play. He stayed with it. He missed the wide open jumper, but fought to get the ball back. Take a look. Very aggressive. Everybody going after it. The spin, the use of the glass, the enthusiasm. Big East basketball. Gotta love it. Still a three point lead for Marquette. The Mountaineers trying to scramble back. They had to go to overtime to beat Seton Hall, and they barely survived at Cleveland State. Well, on the next foul, West Virginia puts Marquette in the one and one. So the decision that Bob Huggins must make right here is how much time does he want to let go off the clock before he fouls? Maybe you do it right away because you extend the game for a longer period of time and hope that Marquette misses the free throws. Looking for their first win here. West Virginia undefeated in the first 10 for the first time since 04 05. But they're in a hole right now. But Jones trying to get the fans fired up as he comes back. Heavy coverage on the inbounds play. Handled by Butler. E banks on him. Got a foul. Got a foul. And they finally do. But with 23 That's seconds left left. in the game. Well, you know, there's a lot of different Number ways three. of looking at this. You know, when, when the, the possession began, there was 39 seconds to go. They let a lot of time go off. They were hoping there was going to be a turnover in that juncture somewhere. So they did finally foul. But you've got less time right now if he makes these. Well, Missoula started to come out of the game. Instead, they're going to take John Flowers out and put in Casey Mitchell. Well, Mitchell can make threes. Flowers is not a three-point shooter. So that's what he's thinking at the offensive end. Unfortunately, you found a great shooter. Just grazed the rim. Little alligator arms on that one. Ebanks for the jam. Get out of here. Holy mackerel. Are you kidding me, Devin? Whoa. One point game. 16.2 to play. He was not going to be denied here, Bob. Indeed. Guys get their hand on the basketball. He goes in anyway. Marquette did not want to foul. Right here, terrific, terrific front change of direction. Kept the ball low for a 6'9 guy. Wow. 
He now has in the game 19 points to lead the scoring for West Virginia. The Mountaineers have three players in double figures. Well, Marquette right now, John, they have to inbound the ball and get, as we take a look at their upcoming schedule, obviously everybody's going to be in a gauntlet. Theirs is in the next week. Now, Marquette, what they have to do is when they get the ball inbounds, that's A, get it inbounds. B is they're going to be fouled right away in all likelihood. So they want to try to inbound it to somebody who's a good free throw shooter. Now, Johnson Odom, who's shooting 78%, is one for three in his last free throw. So psychologically, you don't want to get the ball to him. So West Virginia puts their length on the floor. They go for the steal, and then they foul immediately to extend the game. Because even if he makes two at the line, it's still just a one possession game. It'd exactly. be 64 61. Exactly. So you want to foul as soon as you can right here. You don't want it to go down to like seven or eight seconds or anything like that if you can avoid it. Sometimes that's easier said yeah. than done. That's exactly right. For Marquette, they should line up all of their guys in the backcourt and send somebody long. Jones right now is deep as the safety. But he shouldn't play that far back. He should get in the backcourt. Yeah, they're bringing him up. But right now, Johnson Odom is the player who's open for this inbounds play. Hayward has it. He doesn't want to give it up, but has to. Now Butler. Oh, that was a ball. close one. Missoula almost got the charge. 11.2 to play. Hayward will go to the line for a couple. This is good by West Virginia. Jim Burr right is, is right on the call in front of us. So Jimmy Butler, he played a lot last year. Butler, 75% at the line. Tonight, two for two. That is a miss, and the Mountaineers have the basketball. They don't have any timeouts remaining. 62-61, Marquette with the lead. Butler turns, shoots a three, got it! He hit it! Oh, my God! They've missed three out of four down the stretch. Deshaun is not going to give this up. He wants it. He uses the dribble to get the rhythm. The turnaround, Jay, clearly behind the three-point line. Maybe. We'll see. They're looking at it right now. I think it's a two. Yeah, I think it is two. It still gives West Virginia the lead. The officials are talking it over, but I think you're right. I think it's going to be a two. Let's the take white, a look. I'm sorry, John. The white line is the one that counts right here. He turns. He's on it now. He's clearly on it. Yep. So that's going to be a two. 1.8 seconds to go. You can catch and launch if you're Marquette. For West Virginia, you put a big guy on the ball to make the pass inbounds difficult. You try to filter anybody toward the sideline, not down the middle. The long shots that you see that win games usually are in the middle of the floor. Keep in mind at halftime, there was this amount of time left. And Ebanks made a three. Right here, the officials are looking at what you're looking at, folks. His left foot is on the white line. But the official closest to the play could not see that foot because he was behind and he signaled three pointer. And they are required by rule in any shot that is an end game shot like this in the last moments of a game, even if they think they know, they're required to go to the monitor as well. And right here, I think it's clear his left foot is across the line. They have not changed the scoreboard here in the arena. Still shows a two point difference. It's actually 63 to 62. Well, if you're the scorer at West Virginia, you don't want to put it up there too soon. But we've got it right. That's the important thing. Well, Butler has scored six of the last 12 West Virginia points, but none bigger than that one. But they've still got to stop here. 1.8 seconds to play. Ebanks 
He's up on the ball. It's going to be a difficult long pass. Butler is deep. Remember Christian Leitner in the NCAA tournament against Kentucky. I do. The long pass. He caught it at the top of the key, turned, and shot. Now they've changed the clock to 2.3 seconds. You don't have to have the long pass. You could catch it in the backcourt, take a dribble, and launch. Here we go. 2.3 to play. Long pass intercepted by Missoula. And the Mountaineers are going to escape again. Unbelievable. 62. The number six ranked team survives because Deshaun Butler makes a shot that was extremely difficult. And Marquette did not score in the last minute of the game. What an exciting, exciting basketball game. Let's take another look at the one that won it. Deshaun Butler dribbles the length of the floor on a missed free throw. He spins, he turns, his left foot is on the line. It's nothing but bottom, but it is a two. And as a result, they get the W. The number six ranked team in the nation survives. But what an effort by Deshaun Butler. Coach Huggins is going to join us in just a minute. You can see the undefeateds. It's now West Virginia 11 and 0. But I tell you what, <laughs> it did not come easy tonight for the Mountaineers. They battled back. Remember, they trailed by as many as five in the second half, late in the second half, but they pull it out 63 to 62. Coach Huggins, uh, how about another tight finish for your club and the second time in the last four games that Deshaun Butler's won it for you? Well, to be honest with you, we've, we've struggled all year trying to put people away. We come out uh, with good energy. It's seven nothing. We turn it over two times. We stop running offense, and uh, we just, um, you know, we we keep shooting ourselves in the foot. They played great. I mean, they did what they had to do to win. They really tried to spread us, and God, they made shots. I mean, they made every open shot, same thing they made. That the three point shooting was fabulous for them. And it seemed like, you know, you were switching all those screens like you usually do. You had your hand up, lots. Well, here's they, the last they, play right here, Bob. They hurt us with penetration. Yeah, we didn't we didn't want anybody to have it but him. I mean, he's been so good for us. Uh, Did you tell right away that it place. was a two, not a three? I didn't. <laughs> I was trying to see if it went in or not. <laughs> Bob, thank that you very much. At that point in time, I didn't care. Hey, good luck against Purdue coming up this weekend. Thank okay? you much. Happy New Year to you. You as well. All thank right. you, guys. Take care, Bob. 63. It's our year in closeout, and we're going out with our biggest bang of the year. All signs.